Welcome to another milling training video from DAPRA, your provider of high-performance, American-made milling tools. Today, we'll discuss the definition of a few key terms that are important to know when programming a milling tool. These terms are applicable for both solid and indexable milling tools, and knowing how to use them will help you get the most out of your tools without a lot of frustrating trial and error. So, let's jump right in. So here we have an example of a typical speed and feed chart that you'll see in many cutting tool catalogs. This chart shows general operating ranges for a variety of materials, but without knowledge of what the numbers mean, they're really not much help. In the following slides, we'll discuss exactly what these numbers mean so that you'll be ready to translate them into useful speeds and feeds for your milling program. These are the basic terms needed to end up with good results in speed and feed programming. They are SFM, surface fee per minute, RPM, revolutions per minute, IPT, inches per tooth, IPM, inches per minute, WOC, width of cut, and DOC, depth of cut. Now let's break these down into three related groups and look at clearer definitions of what they actually mean. Our first two terms are both related to cutting tool speed. SFM stands for surface feet per minute and is very simply the number of linear feet that the cutting edge travels in one minute. This number is a constant, dependent primarily on the material being machined. This is the number that you'll be given in the catalog's speed and feed chart. No matter what diameter tool you're using, the SFM remains the same. The number that changes is the RPM or revolutions per minute. This number is variable, and it's dependent on the diameter of the cutting tool, so a larger tool will spin more slowly to move the cutting edge a given surface feet per minute. A smaller tool needs to spin more quickly to move the edge that same distance in the same amount of time. The calculations for arriving at the correct RPM based on the recommended SFM will be covered in another training video, so stay tuned for that. The next two terms are related to feed. IPT stands for inches per tooth and represents the distance through the material that your cutting tool moves or feeds in the time it takes for the next cutting edge to rotate into cutting position. So in other words, in the time it takes the cutter in our diagram to rotate the cutting edge that is currently shown at the nine o'clock position over to the 12 o'clock position the cutter will have moved whatever IPT that we have set up the program to move through the material. Sometimes this value is referred to as feed per tooth, sometimes the word chip load is used. Whatever term you use, it's the amount of material you're asking each cutting edge or flute to remove from the material being machined. However, our program doesn't use IPT, it uses IPM or inches per minute. This is also referred to as the program feed rate and is the number of inches your cutting tool will travel in one minute. This value is calculated based on the RPM, IPT, and the number of teeth your cutting tool has. Again, we'll cover the calculations in a separate video. Our last two terms that relate specifically to our operating parameters are WOC and DOC. WOC stands for width of cut and is typically either referred to as a percentage of the cutter diameter or as a numerical value. So for example, in our diagram, if we say the cutter diameter is two inches and we see that the material is about 50% of the tool diameter and width, then our width of cut is 50% or in this case, one inch. The ideal amount for this is dependent on the application and the material being machined, which we'll cover at a later time. DOC means depth of cut and refers to the Z-axis engagement of the tool. Now perhaps a different diagram would do a better job of showing this variable. Now this picture shows us both WOC and DOC in relation to a typical end mill. We see the width of cut shown at the bottom, indicating what percentage of the tool diameter is in the cut. Now the depth of cut, or DOC, is shown as the amount of flute length engaged at one time in the cut. The heavier the DOC, the more stress on the tool, but also the greater the metal removal rate will be. 
It's important to recognize the maximum depth of cut for any cutting tool to prevent breakage during the cut. This feature should be indicated in your cutting tool catalog. Well, that's it for this session. We hope you found this video helpful. Please visit our website for further information on DAPRA's high quality American-made milling tools and check back with us for more training videos coming soon.